Hey YouTube, uh, once again pursuing our sinological studies. This time uh, we're going to talk about Chinese languages. All right. Uh, last time in the previous few uh, talks uh, we talked about Chinese history, all that languages intertwined with Chinese history, which is even longer. All right. Uh, Chinese languages. Remember, it's a plural. All right. Uh, because People say, do you speak Chinese? Really, that doesn't really mean anything. It's like, do you speak Europeans? Uh, China is even bigger than Europe, so as you know. Uh, Chinese language stem from the Sino-Tibetan Chinese, uh, Sino-Tibetan language family. So, Sino-Tibetan language family that goes back all the way from here. We're not even talking about uh, the Tibetan. They split into the Tibetan clans and the Chinese clan. And I'm going to leave the Tibetan clan alone for some other uh, experts on that. Um, basically, they split into the Tibetan language families, which is in Tibet. And then we have the Chinese languages. And basically, people say, do you speak Chinese? That doesn't really mean anything. What they mean is that do, they, do you speak Mandarin? All right, the Mandarin, what they mean is uh, the only language that's spoken in the Northern Plains. That is due to the history of the uh, Qing Dynasty. The Qing Dynasty, that they unified the Northern part of China, and then they start to go south. And Mandarin, which basically in the Qing Dynasty, the last dynasty of China, basically it means that um, it, it means uh, official speak. Basically, it is based in the Beijing dialect, which is the capital of China, the Qing Dynasty, and today is China as well. Uh, Mandarin is basically the Beijing dialect. But Mandarin and Beijing dialect is not necessarily the exact same thing. It's just like two twins is, does not look exactly the same as well. But Mandarin what we mean is based on the Beijing dialect, but um, of course it's mutually intelligible. And mainland China today, the communist China, they, they call it another name, they call it Putonghua, uh, which means uh, the normal speak. Uh, that means that this is the language that's like a lingua franca for all the China to use. Just like in Europe, if you say, do you speak European? I guess the lingua franca today is English, and back then maybe it's French or something. So basically, today, when you say, do you speak Chinese, basically they mean, do you speak Mandarin? And Mandarin came from Beijing dialect. So the whole northern plain, they all speak pretty much the same thing, even though with uh, different dialects and stuff. And also due to history, it's because northern China is all like plain. So it's flat lands, easy to conquer, including Manchuria, that they, um, throughout history, it is easy to conquer, people mingle together. So more or less, the northern plain of China, the Chinese, they all speak pretty much the same thing, with dialects, of course, with accents, the Panaya, Panaya locales and the region. So they all speak the same thing. But if you start to go south, because it's more, uh, the terrain is more um, mountainous and, and uh, more isolated. So start, people speak different languages. Uh, like I'm from Shanghai, so sh I speak Shanghainese. Eh? And uh, in this region, they call it the Wu uh, languages. In Wu languages, they're scattered around different type of uh, languages. Say if my friend's from Wuxi, then he, he speaks Wuxi dialect. I pretty much don't understand what he's saying, but that's also part of the uh, Wu dialect. Uh, uh, say if you go a little bit over the Suzhou, Hangzhou, it's all part of uh, uh, the Wu languages, and it is mutually intelligible because it's uh, close to each other. And you would say that's topolect. Topolect means that they're different regions, speak different languages. But if you say, I have a dialect of uh, Shanghai languages, and, and there's a dialect of Suzhou languages, means that it's mutually intelligible, at least with an accent. It's just like Irish or Scottish and English. They all speak English, but with a dialect. With the dialect, they understand. 
But if, say, you go down to Fuzhou or you go down to Canton, you speak Cantonese or Fuzhou dialect, that is totally like a foreign language. Or that is a major thing we understand Chinese language. Chinese language is not one single language. It's hundreds of different languages within Chinese language family. That is very important to you to understand. Uh, one other major important thing I need to point out is 99.9% .9 of human history, that is a very long time, is that language is only oral. That means only spoken language. There's no written records. Remember, until 19th century, most people are illiterate. Most people are illiterate. Until 19th century, so written records are very limited. So we understand there are many hundreds of hundreds of uh, spoken different Chinese languages, but there is only one Chinese written language. I mean, the written language in China is all universal, the same. There's only one Chinese language, so written language. So even if they don't speak to each other, uh, understand each other, they, they write the same words. That's very important. And lastly, I want to explain is that Chinese language is among all the languages in the world is quite unique in one aspect is that they have intonation. That means that if you have a sound, in Western word, if you say apple, no matter what kind of intonation you say apple, or let's say put a simple word, say ow, you say ow, you say ow, 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 ow. That's still going to be an ow. Right, but in Chinese it's totally different because Chinese has four intonation. There's ah, 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 ah. So that makes a total difference of Chinese language. No matter where you go, no matter what kind of Chinese language you speak, the intonation makes a whole lot of difference because there's a limited of sounds in there. But if you make the intonations, that makes a total difference. So if you say what. That means I, you say, what? that means house, or other stuff. But it's the same thing, but um, that, that makes uh, Chinese language very unique. So just keep in mind, there's a lot of different Chinese languages out there, hundreds of different Chinese languages. And it's basically pretty much mutually unintelligible. And uh, so Chinese language is very diverse. Just let you know that.